So maybe you could point out some of these parts while we while we look yeah, at sure. them. Yeah, sure. These are the tuning pins, and the tuning pins are about. Well, I'll get you one here. This is a this is a tuning pin right here, and it's pounded down into a pin block underneath here, uh, and so these are all threads here, and so you only see this much of it, and then the string is wound around mm. that, and then the tuning hammer is put on there, and it's it, and then the pitch is changed. I'll show you that on the other piano. Tuning pins and the strings, they pass over this bridge, and when it vibrates, the bridge bridges the sound down to the soundboard. This big piece of wood here is like the speaker of the piano. This is the, the really the soul of the instrument. And so the bridge bridges the vibrations down, and the vibrations hit this soundboard, and what it does is it moves uh, into, it, it, it moves the sound waves into the air. And that's what you hear, it makes it audible, you know. Uh, Beautiful. So, yeah, that's incredible. So <laughs> if you didn't have this big soundboard, all you would hear is, you know, like the higher notes here, you can barely hear those because it's just a little bit of soundboard area. But down here, you know, when these bass strings are hit, the bridge bridges it down and you have... And what, uh, let me let me just mention something that's yeah. really amazing. There's there's an incredible amount of math, you know, in sound itself. And you could have a piano. They start at about 13 gauge up here, and then it graduates down to about 20 gauge of wire. And then you have the bass strings. If you had a piano that only had 13 gauge wire, the piano would have to be about 30 feet long. Okay. But mathematically, if you take the diameter of a wire and the length, and you cut it in half and double the thickness of the wire, you have the same sound. So that's why the, the strings get bigger as it goes down. And when you get to the bass here, you have a string and then you have wound, copper wound strings. Mm, so the smaller, Like a bass guitar. Yeah, so the smaller the piano is, the bigger the bass strings have to be. So if you look at a nine foot concert grand, the bass strings are smaller, but again, mathematically you can you can uh, uh, cut the length in half, double the thickness, and you get the Reproduce same. Reproduce the same sound. Same, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, look at the thickness of those, yeah. those wound cords. Phenomenal. And this, of course, is uh, uh, just something that, that, that they, they learn. I mean, over the last two or three hundred years, you know, they, they just build and learn and build and learn. And, uh, it's just it's an amazing thing.